what's going on everybody rob here trev 2323 right now i'm about to do some old school piano stuff whichever you want to call it i'm gonna use some rattle can custom paint got the shit and some uh metal flake and some duplicolor perfect match i've been wanting to do it with actually i want to i've been putting everything together to do my own body work with lvlp and you see there's the hood of the van i took it off already and i was intending on doing this inside the garage but it's only 39 degrees right now so i can't paint that in the garage and i do got my squirrel cage in the basement to blow everything out the basement so that's what i'm gonna do right now now you see i still got this youtube sticker up here going on two or three years old and that's still in color and i cleared that with a dupli color otherwise it would have been like this right here faded out i clear coated that so dupli color is a car paint although it don't got a hardener in it but it got a uv protectant in it so i'm gonna scuff this up in the basement wash it off really good scuff it up really good and then i'm gonna probably do two or three coats of the gold and a second coat i'm gonna sprinkle some of this on it and then i'm gonna dupli color it so on this hood there's probably going to be eight to ten coats now the only problem that i know i'm going to have something flaking is i got this one little thing ding right there and i'm not going to primer the whole thing i'm not going to get the dings out of it i just want my youtube logo with my name right there so bear with me here we go okay sitting in my basement right here this is my basement that's the door where i'm gonna put the squirrel fan blowing outward but you see, I always got my Eastwood pre because I am going to pre this whole thing really good first. And after I pre it really good, clean it off really good, I'm just going to scuff it up really good with a red scuff pad. Yes, I found it. I had some extra. Master 6x9 scuffing pad. 360 smoothing. This is the red scuffing pad. This whole thing is cleaned off with pre. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the red scuffing pad. Now I actually wiped all around the perimeter of the edge underneath. I don't plan on painting the hole underneath or taping, but I am going to hit underneath with the can as I'm going around. But it's going to be gold. All this is going to be gold flake right here, this whole hood. And then in the middle it's going to say YouTube Trev 2323. So bear with me. I'm trying to take you step by step. Right now the whole hood was already cleaned with pre. And now the whole hood is going to be scuffed down with a red pad one thing do not flip this pad right now unless you have a rubber glove on and do not lean on this hood unless you have a rubber glove on because if you lean on the hood you're going to put your oils into that paint and get a fish eye so you got to press hard enough to get rid of that shine see that shine the paint will not stick to that shine you got to keep doing it in crosshatch so the shine isn't really there anymore see the difference there's a little piece right there that's really good you got to get all that shine off and you got to do that for the whole hood so yes you will be sweating okay so it's scuffed up pretty good you won't believe this i just bought tack cloths and i cannot find any tack cloths sorry about the lighting here so i'm using rust-oleum custom gold but i'm going to hit it with a solid sheet of this right here probably two coats of this then i'm going to put the glitter and then i'll put a gloss and then i'm going to put the youtube and trev 2323 signs well you know how to spray spray paint so i'm not gonna i'm gonna just use one hand for this look at that my honey found my tack cloth so i'm gonna tack it down with my tack cloth real good and then i'm gonna paint it hold it i was trying to set you up somewhere but i'm just gonna hold it i'm gonna do half the side over here first and then half the other side first shaking as i'm going i bought four cans of this so i'm not at all worried about doing uh light coats because i don't want any runs in it so let me get this other side done then i'll show you when i'm done all right so this is the first coat it's not a solid coat you could tell i wish i would have just waited to spray this with the uh to spray this with a regular spray gun 
because it didn't uh that can didn't spray as nice as i would like to although this is my first coat over the primed white so uh i got another coat flash time i'm gonna let this flash for 10 15 minutes and i'm gonna go get the uh air hose because i got my compressor i want to put on because i'm that's what i just put the flake on with okay this is just going out on a big time limb gold flake gold flake gold flake dry gun no inner coat clear the old school way to try to use air to spray it over wet paint the old gun let's see if it works as long as there's some flake coming out i'm gonna use it yep there's flake all over the place so i'm gonna use this like this but i'm gonna open it up a little bit more all right, so there it is. It's just dry, dry in there. I got an old Campbell Hashfield gun, but you got to shake it around to get the uh, glitter sucked up. So I'm gonna put the second coat on here, and I might even start spraying some glitter with the second coat. It's still drying. I got some uh, time left on it. Uh, actually, it's about to be ready for another coat. But you see, it's still kind of wet over here, so I might wait a little bit more. Man, I wouldn't recommend that paint for anybody to spray. Okay, that was one coat with the gold. But I'm gonna need more, and believe it or not, that's for a lot of dirt out of there, man. A lot of dirt out of there. So I'm so glad I got another can of gold to go. Holy crap, looks like a disco ball. You know what sucks? Is in the first blast threw a whole bunch of dirt out with it i cleaned it but it threw a whole bunch of dirt out with it and it looks like dirt it don't look like gold and then it blasted this side and then it looks like it ran out before this side you see this is all with rattle can i'm gonna do one more even coat of gold on top of this and then i'm gonna uh one more even coat of gold I'm actually going to use it again. This thick spray didn't come out of it. This thin one and this thin one sprayed out of it really good. And this is crap. You can only use half a can and then it dries up in the can. Now with this Rust-Oleum stuff, the Rust-Oleum Custom, it seems like it gets clogged up in the tip because I got two cans that are not even all the way done and everything's clogged up in the tip already. So see... The little dirt molecules on there but i'm not gonna sand it i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna do one more coat of this spray some more glitter on it wait 10 minutes and then i'm gonna clear coat it with one coat of clear coat and wait an hour and then i'm gonna put my decals on it so coming from the front after this is all one color and gloss it is gonna look really nice but i want to get that coat of clear coat on it before one coat of clear coat before I put the vinyl lettering on because if not, I don't want this stuff to peel off and the vinyl lettering not to sit as much with this. <laughs> That's why I'm going to put the coat of clear coat. Now this is just all rattle can. Holy crap. That's what it looks like. So in 10 minutes, I'm going to hit it with clear coat. Then I'm leave it for about an hour or two hours before I put my logos on it. Raise your hand if you're going to get your tail whipped by your wife or tracking glitter all through her house for about another two or three years. This is a Duplicolor Perfect Match clear coat that I'm going to put on. I'm going to put a thick coat on it right now. And with a thick coat, I'm going to let it set and use that as kind of my inner coat clear because I have four cans of this. Hopefully one can covers the whole hood of the car. And then I'll put one can really thick on this. Then I could put my uh, logos down and then I could put like three, four more quotes on it. I'm trying to do this right now so the uh, my van, I don't got to use it till Monday. 
or Tuesday, so this way it can sit for two or three days down here with the gloss on it, so everything could get nice and hard. And I'm not gonna wet sand it or buff it till the summertime. All I've been doing with the paint is 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes fat flash times in between, and you'll see my fingerprints because I've been pressing underneath here to see it was, when it was tacky. But then the clear, I want to probably use this whole can and do a nice solid deep white coat so this way when I put the YouTube Trev 2323 on here, it'll actually have something that's solid to stick to. And that was 10 minutes. It's dry underneath there. So what I found out is when I was doing this right here, halfway, it was leaving a line kind of down the middle. So I've been going the whole width of it. So. Let's see, man. Hopefully, this whole can will last the width of it. I got four of these cans. They're like nine dollars a can. You already see the color change into a nice deeper gold. I'm gonna have to buff it out really good because I feel the can get in light, but I don't want to use the other three cans because the other three cans are gonna be for the vinyl lettering. looking for the dry spots right now. Got yeah, my nice thick wet coat with no streaks. I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour. I have another half a can somewhere. I'm gonna use the other half a can. There it goes, an hour and 10 minutes that's gonna sit, and then I'm gonna put the logos on it. Okay, if it sounds so loud, because I got the air mover on, I got my YouTube vinyl and my Trev 2323 vinyl, and I gotta try to get it centered in here somewhere. So I'm gonna do the YouTube first, and the Trev 2323 vinyl. I adventure to say Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, so there's three letters and there's four letters, so right at the corner of the T is where it's gonna go on here. And it is two separate, oh man, everything is separate. So you can't put it on, on all at once. Everything is separate. I wish they would have added one sticker, but it's all cut out separately. So what I'm gonna do is start with the tube first. And I got the ridge of the van right here. So I'm gonna put on the T right here, starting. Everything's all separate letters. Other thing I can do is probably start with the bottom and pull back. It's three and four, so I'm going to start with the T right here on the ridge. You come in there. Oh, that's all together. Right here. Hold that. Trev 2323 is one right here. Oh. I have no idea how I'm going to get this out. 
I was thinking about cutting backwards and going to you and pulling it up that way, you know? Yeah. Want to grab some scissors? They're upstairs. Sorry. You shouldn't drink while you're painting stuff. Couldn't find this trip 2323 for the life of me. So I know this is going to be the halfway point, and I'm kind of eyeballing it here. So I'm actually going to cut this uh, to peel off the back. Okay, now it's five clear coats over this and it should stick that underneath all the clear coats. Let me well, that didn't come out as planned. All right, Jack of all trades, master of none. This is the hood of the car. YouTube, I do got the flake in it. My battery's about to die. Trev 2323 didn't stick. As well as this didn't stick as good over the flake. If I would have used a uh, regular car paint with a hardener, it would have worked better. The duplicolor wasn't thick enough. Even when I put it on like a thick coat, it wasn't thick enough to cover over this because it had the bump, the textures from this. So if I would have put on like maybe three coats of gloss and then that, it probably would have stuck on better. But lesson learned now i gotta drive around with the flaky hood which is youtube on it but i'm probably gonna put trev 2323 across the top sun visor at a window but this is it for now that's how it came out and i'll show you it in the sun uh i had company today so i'm gonna hit it with probably three more cans of gloss this weekend